This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Sculpting is a very important part of creating 3D models in computer graphics today. If you want to learn how to sculpt characters, creatures, or hard surface models, there are many sculpting software to do just that. In this video, we're gonna go over 7 3D sculpting software that have different tools and features and can help you as a beginner artist. Number 7. SculptGL SculptGL is a digital sculpting web app, meaning that you will be able to use it online on a web browser. And if you want to download the standalone version, you can do that as well if you want to. Even though this seems like a simple tool for sculpting, it has really nice tools and features that will allow you to create any type of model like characters, creatures, or hard surface objects. It has a basic set of brushes such as the basic brush, inflate, smooth, twist, drag, etc. This can help you create relatively complex sculpts with ease. You can also do PBR vertex painting and voxel remeshing using meshing algorithm to produce quant only mesh when you need that in addition to dynamic topology. You can import and export 3D models for different purposes, including 3D printing because it supports OBJ and SDL file formats. This sculpting software is completely free, you can start using it online right away or download the standalone version. Number 6. Mesh Mixer Mesh Mixer is an Autodesk software that can be considered a good software for sculpting in addition to fixing and enhancing meshes for 3D printing. It is not the best when it comes to sculpting, but it has some nice tools that can help you out as a beginner to get started and understand how sculpting works. This software has a set of basic brushes for sculpting like drag, draw, flatten, pinch, move, and so on. Mesh Mixer is a good option if you want a simple software to sculpt your models for 3D printing if you want to focus on 3D printing and not learning complex 3D sculpting software. By the way, it is completely free, you can download it right now and start working on your projects if you want to. Number 5. Sculptress Sculptress is a simple and easy to use sculpting software that was developed by Thomas Peterson and then further developed by Pixelogic, the creators of ZBrush. Sculptress is no longer being actively developed by Pixelogic and is considered a legacy application, as it is stated in Pixelogic official website but you can still use it and learn a lot from it, especially as a beginner because it is easy to use and it is good enough to create decent projects. It is a good point from which you can start practicing how to use the basic tools of ZBrush and its tools are easy to learn and features are easy to understand because it is a user-friendly software to handle if you have no prior experience. Since Sculptress and ZBrush are connected because they have been developed by the same company for a couple of years, one of the most important advantages of this 3D modeling software is that the skills you will learn using Sculptress can be further upgraded using ZBrush, meaning that what you will learn using Sculptress will not be wasted. In addition to that, Sculptress files can be easily imported and sent easily to ZBrush. And by the way, Sculptress is completely free to download and use. Number 4. 3D Code 3D Code is an interesting 3D program that can be used for sculpting, but it is kind of different compared to the others. It is a commercial digital sculpting software designed to create freeform organic and hard surface 3D models using different tools and features that enable you to sculpt in addition to any polygonal topology, either automatically or manually, create UV maps, texture and paint the resulting models with natural painting tools. This software can be used to import 3D models from other 3D packages such as 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D or Blender to be redefined or add further details using its powerful sculpting and painting tools. Even though the way 3D code works is not necessarily similar to what you can see in the previous 3D sculpting software, it does not make a huge difference if what you are aiming at is sculpting nice things such as characters, animals or impressive things like creatures and hard surface models like robots and ships. If it does make a difference, it is going to allow you to create even more amazing things because 3D Code is more advanced and capable than the other software we talked about already. 3D Code is not a free software, but it is not expensive either. There are basically two options, the amateur version which costs $99 and the professional version that costs $379 at the time of recording this video. And the good thing is, you're not going to pay for a subscription, rather you are paying for a license to use it forever. Number 3. Mudbox Mudbox is a software for 3D sculpting and painting developed by Autodesk. 
This software is interesting because it could have become a leading software in the professional 3D sculpting in the future in industries such as game development and visual effects. Unfortunately, it started declining in its user base over the years, but it is still very good. Mudbox was developed by Sky Matter in New Zealand as a group of artists who were working on Lord of the Rings at Weta Digital. They created the software to expand their own toolset and was the first used as a complete product in King Kong. The beta was released in 2006, followed by the version 1.0 in 2007. On August 6, 2007, Autodesk announced the acquisition of Sky Matter. At the time, it was a fierce competitor to ZBrush, and it is still is to a certain extent. The sculpting toolset contains a wide set of brushes with adjustable falloffs. The use of 3D layers allows for design visualization, non destructive sculpting, and high polygon count, even tens of millions of polygons, because Mudbox was developed to sculpt huge and complicated creatures and monsters for visual effects work. All the standard transform and selection tools are there as well, in addition to paint layers that were added a few years after development. Mudbox also includes stamps and stencils. Mudbox is subscription based, but it is affordable because it is only $85 per year. Before we continue with the last two software for sculpting, I recommend you try Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. For example, you can find a lot of classes that can help you to do that step by step for learning Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, ZBrush, and much more. I recommend first checking Blender 3D Your First Character class, which will help you get a solid grip over the basics before moving to complex stuff. Also, if you want to learn ZBrush, there are many classes including this one that will teach you how to sculpt Kratos the God of War in ZBrush, in addition to all the concepts and tools you need to have a solid grip over sculpting in general. And the good thing is, it is very affordable because you just need to pay less than $10 per month to get access to all these fantastic classes. The first 1,000 people who will sign up through our link will get two months of free membership for free. Links in the description. Number two, Blender. Blender is an open source 3D package that can do many things in a production pipeline. It can do basically anything that the other 3D packages can do, in addition to having the ability to sculpt. The developers added some interesting sculpting functionality in the earlier versions, and that has only grown with the addition of great tools such as Dynatopo Sculpting, which is a great feature to sculpt creatively with the ability to change resolution with intricate details that need millions of polygons. Blender has become a far better sculpting software in the last couple of years because it has been updated super fast compared to the other sculpting software. It has now a wide range of sculpting brushes and tools that are necessary for the process. Blender is good for you if you are a beginner because it is completely free and because it is simple when it comes to sculpting specifically. Number 1. ZBrush ZBrush is a sculpting software that combines 3D and 2.5D modeling, texturing, and painting. Right now, it is the most advanced and probably the hardest to learn on this list. ZBrush is especially useful and powerful when it comes to creating high-quality and high-resolution models that need tens of millions of polygons for use in movies, games, and animation. By almost all companies in those industries because it is the software dominating sculpting. It is not the most user-friendly sculpting software, but it is surely the most powerful. It is kind of different in the way it operates. For example, its user interface and how the tools are distributed is not the most intuitive, but you will get used to it after a certain period of time. ZBrush comes with many features to aid sculpting and modeling meshes. The initial download comes with more than 30 3D sculpting brushes, with more available for download later on. Each brush offers unique attributes as well as allowing general control over hardness, intensity, and size. Alphas are used to create a specific pattern or shape, and textures are also editable brush features. Some of the most important features of ZBrush include DynaMesh, ZRemesher, FiberMesh, ShadowBox, and much more. ZBrush is not free, but there is a version that is designed for new artists or those who don't have experience with sculpting and want to put their hands on it without the complicated features of ZBrush. This version is called ZBrush Core Mini. It has a streamlined interface that lets anyone jump right in and start sculpting immediately. Additional Sculpting Software There are actually other interesting 3D packages that have the ability to sculpt, such as Moto, which is a complete 3D package like Blender, Maya, and Cinema 4D. It has decent sculpting brushes and tools that can relatively help you sculpt characters, organic objects, and hard surface models as well. 
Another software is Cinema 4D. Even though Cinema 4D is not great for sculpting, it has nice features for creating shapes and characters nonetheless. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.